and welcome to uh, game one, uh, these poor videos we're filming. Uh, I think this time to keep. Oh, you have no idea what that deck we're against, um, and we've plenty of ways to gain life and get creatures out, so I think this is fine. We are on draw as well, so. If we draw an untapped land, we're probably going to play uh, Plains and Soul Warden. Okay, so it looks like we're against Burn. Uh, so we could we could play Soul Warden, but it'll just die to that Rift Bolt. So I think what we're actually going to do is play the Windscar Crag. Take the Rift Bolt damage, and then we can like start playing um, like Raise the Alarm next turn, Soul Warden, and something else to turn after that. Okay, Thin Alchemist is annoying, but we can deal with it. Uh, Gather the Townsfolk gets um, better in this game as well. If we do go below 5 life, um, at least gives us a, a good board presence, so Burn can finish you off fairly quickly. Um, if we get you down to 5 life. Needle drop. One damage target creature. Basically they're using it to draw a card. Okay, that's fine with me. Oh, is it to, uh... oh target creature or player. Sorry. Can't claim to be that familiar with all the cards in... Um, Open. Okay, so play Soul Warden. Now we may as well attack these two soldiers as Thermal Alchemist has no power. Okay, so I put a lightning bolt in the Soul Warden, so we'll just raise the alarm in response. Kind of what I expected to happen, to be honest. So, good news for us there is we take a lightning bolt out of our opponent's hand, which is almost like gaining three life, and uh, we gain two life from the raise the alarm. So, in a way, that Soul Warden sort of gained us five life. So, cycling a Forgotten Cave. Okay, so we could play Battle Screech here and get four 1-1 one, one flyers. Um, to do that, we'd have to leave uh, one of the soldiers back. I think we're uh, we're fine with that. Because the other option is we can play Raise the Alarm and Gather the Townsfolk, but Battle Screech does it in... Um, one card, so we have more card advantage, and they're flying, so they can't be blocked. And gather the town's focus. We're better using that um, later on in the game. I guess they get incinerators. Okay. What they could have done is they could have actually killed the soldier token we left up, so we don't get to do that. But. Whatever our opponent thinks is right. I think now next turn if we draw like a Rally the Peasants or the other Mass Pump spell, we are in a good chance to win. Um, So I think we just play Gather the Townsfolk here, because um, then next turn we'll have like 12 attackers. I mean, it is tempting that we want to do it after we've gone down to 5 life, but I just don't think we want to... Uh, there's no point, because if they don't do anything we can just win this turn. Okay, so if one has like double bolt we're dead. So they're bolting us. So 
So I think we have lethal unless our opponent has a burn spell. Yep, the 1-1s one do it. Okay, so that was fairly nice. So against Burn, Burn has the enchantment that can be horrendous to play against. Um, so this enchant could be useful. Definitely bringing in the extra Suja Priests. Um, mm. Just great. Circle of Protection in red, obviously, is for the Burn match. Um, we didn't see the enchantment from our opponent, so I'm kind of tempted to not bring in these disenchants. Um, okay, what do you want us to bring out? Uh, I think we can bring out Doomed Travellers in this matchup. I think they're maybe just a little bit too slow. So we can bring in... Maybe even bring out Triplicate Spirits, I think. Again, Triplicate Spirits is a bit slow. Um, it's nice to have Luma of Thread Field, however, I will say. Um, you can say this card's slow, but... Um, Veteran Armour and Luma Thread Field make your... your um, Spirit's hard to kill and they play Electricery potentially. Could be worth bringing in Mana Tide for Electricery actually. We've got a uh, Triplicate Spirits. Um, so yeah, I think. So Sends Enlistment's mm -hmm. also quite slow, so I think we'll bring that out and bring in. Um, I think we're going to try and bring in two Mana Tides. So we want to put something else. Uh, da, 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 da. Probably another triplicate spirits. I think it's um, because it involves not attacking in this game, and basically against burn, you're just racing. So we want to kind of make our tokens sort of as efficient as possible, and tapping tokens we already have isn't that great, unless they're summoning sick, of course. But if we somehow end up in a turn where we're playing like battle screech and triplicate spirits, I'll be surprised. So yeah, I think that's what we want. Manatide can come in useful um, in any match, to be honest, but um, if you go for like an overloaded electricery um, and tap out for it, it's really, really valuable then, obviously. So I think we'll just submit there. Okay, so again, we're going to be on the draw in game two. Um, because this hand is sort of um, a bit medium, but mm -hmm. we do have circle of protection, mm -hmm. which is obviously like a, going to be a very good card in this game. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have Soul Warden, so I think we can keep this on the draw. On the player, I might be more wary. Chain Lightning, okay. Can't do anything about that. Uh, Planes is nice. Um, probably just want to play uh, Windscarred Crag though, and then go like Circle Protection on turn two. I have drawn the land for like Battle Screech. So I think we go Circle Protection here. Turn 3 we'll go Soul Warden. Mm -hmm. So this is only damage to you as mm -hmm. the player. That's uh, something that's worth noting. We could, like, we could go Soul Warden and gather the Townsfolk. Hmm. Probably quite worth doing actually because we want to have the um, ability to tap something for Battle Screech next turn, and it's very likely Soul Warden just dies to be honest. So we get some immediate value out of Soul Warden that way as well. So, Lava Spike. Okay, so the wouldn't have been able to kill Soul Warden with that, um, we, that would have been a very nice. Um, Circle of Protection target. This um, double thermal alchemist draw is rather uh, aggressive and not good for us. Yeah, so they're going to need what? Ne no, they're needle dropping us, not the Soul Warden. Uh, I can't say I think that's right, but. Um, so yeah, I think we just battle screech here. We gain like four life from that. So we'll take two. So we're definitely gonna take at least four. Um but we'll gain four, so we'll be at eleven. So we'll need like two, three burn spells to kill us. 
So I think that's fine to not leave any mana up for circle protection. Also needs to have four birds with this um, Guardian's Pledge. So we can actually do 12 damage from birds in one turn. Lava Spike. Yeah, so that's going to take us down to it. seven effectively with these Thermal Alchemists. Okay, so I think we just attack with everything here. Uh, we could actually leave one back. And then, like, um, Battle Screech. Taking us up to 13. Um, we do four damage. This is likely to kill um, these three next turn. Uh, they're three non-flyers, I should say. Battle, so if we do four here, Battle Screech will give us like a load of flyers. I think that's our best way of winning. Because obviously like, if we Battle Screech... The other option is actually we do like um, Guardian's Pledge. Attack with everything Guardian's Pledge. If they don't block, they're dead. If they do block, we don't lose anything and we have mana up for circle protection. Yeah, actually that sounds better. They're going to take 15. And lose both Thermal Alchemists. And we have Circle of Protection up if they decide to like bolt us to the face. Yeah, they're going to do damage to ex uh, to creatures that flying, so we're going to lose all but our four birds. But we still have the Guardian's Pledge in hand. They're going to chain lightning. Well, I'm going to activate circle protection. Which does nothing. So therefore, we should just be able to attack for the win. Yeah, I've been scooped. Um, I presume they had. I think we know they had a bolt in their hand, didn't they? But yeah, so that was a pretty quick win. A nice, easy win, to be honest. Let's have another round. See you in round two.